Patients with COPD are very breathless. It's a known factor. How to prevent this breathlessness? The effective breathing techniques like pursed lip breathing and diaphragmatic breathing helps them to relieve their breathlessness. First of all, we see what's the effects of breathlessness and later talk about the techniques which relieve their breathlessness. Breathlessness may prevent you from carrying out daily activities in an effort to avoid becoming short of breath. Later on, you become less active and less fit. Finally, your ordinary activities become more difficult and in order to conserve your energy and breath, you stay inactive and less socializing and more anxious. So what's the way to get out of it? Here's a technique to help you relieve your breathlessness. That's your pursed lip breathing, which is easy to practice. Taking a deep breath in through your nose and now concentrate on your breathing out with your pursed lip twice as much longer than you breathe in. Important to note is purse your lips and try to reduce the noise of expiration by making less effort as you breathe out. This technique helps to improve good oxygen exchange at the end point in your lung and helps you to prolong your breathing and more oxygen is supplied to your muscles. And your backward pressure provided by your pursing your lips helps to open up your airways more larger and helps your oxygen to get into all parts of your lung. So do this technique effectively. Concentrate on your breathing out. Breathe out as twice as much you breathe in. Maybe you can try out counting two when you breathe in through your nose and counting four out through your mouth, pursing your lips. Your next technique is your diaphragmatic breathing. Diaphragmatic breathing helps to relieve breathlessness and improves your lung mechanics. It can be performed in lying or sitting. The technique is place one hand on your upper abdomen and one in front of your chest. Breathe in slowly and deeply through your nose and exhale through your pursed lip. This ensures that your diaphragm is effective in working and improves your lung mechanics and your oxygenation to your lung. Good time to practice this is appropriately after you're taking your inhalers. Remember, avoid taking deep breaths in. It isn't necessary to take deep breaths in to cope with breathlessness. Practice one of the techniques, either pursed lip or diaphragmatic breathing, at times when you get severely breathless. Position of ease. When you're getting short of breath while you're in a supermarket or while you're doing your walking exercise, you need to get into a position of ease to relieve your breathlessness. It is not advisable to continue your activity when you're getting too severely short of breath. So the best position of ease is to sit down, lean forwards, resting your elbows on your lap, relax your shoulder muscles and relax your chest muscles, concentrate on your breathing in through your nose, and with your pursed lip, breathe out through your mouth. Longer, twice as much, you breathe in. So two counts in through your nose. And four counts out through your pursed lip. Slow and gentle and longer. This will help to relieve your breathlessness. In this position, your diaphragm, which is a supporting muscle of your lung, is relaxed down and your lung has more room to expand and as you're concentrating on your breathing in you're getting in more oxygen into your lung which will improve your breathlessness. When you get breathless when you're walking outside in a shopping center or by a park go and find a place where you can lean against. As you're watching this video you can see a person standing against the wall and doing the pursed lip breathing. He has his shoulders relaxed and Breathing in slowly through the nose for two counts and breathing out four counts through the mouth slowly and gently with pursed lip. This technique might help you to relieve your breathlessness.